G'day guys. Here with a video to explain exactly how I run through the three point NBA Ruler Live event. The NBA Ruler Live events are notoriously difficult and you don't have a lot of time on the clock to get two three pointers off. So, number one, you need to have a good three point shooter, that goes without saying. But the main strategy I use when shooting the three pointers is the step back. And you'll see that in action here. So I actually run diagonally across court to the opposite wing area and then step back with a decent three-point shooter, 10% swish, perfect. Now what I'll do is I'll hold to the bottom right-hand corner with the thumbstick, which draws my point guard down to my end of the court. That means I'm playing four and five defense, which prompts the AI to shoot more quickly. And it means that my point guard is down there ready for a really quick step back. So you saw that I just got two three-pointers off in a relatively short period of time. Unfortunately, I missed that one. That's fine. I'm going to go find Clay Thompson because he's a better three-point shooter. And I'm going to run to the opposite wing and do a step back on that side. That also misses, but that's fine. Luckily, I got the offensive board and I do have time for one more step back. We've got the top of the key. 7%, that should hit, and it does. And that's exactly how I run that live event. Usually I have more success hitting those step backs. They generally hit more often than they just did in that example. But you can see that not only am I aiming for step backs to make sure that those three point shots hit, but I'm also dragging my point guard out of the defensive end ready for that long pass, which can be especially good off a of fast break. And if he's open in the corner from a turnover, then that three is often a good one to take as well. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel so you can see more new content that I'm always putting out.